What is going on everyone? Got a tech video here to share with all of you on how you can export or transfer your cached videos and photos from within the DJI GO 4 app on your iOS device like the iPhone or iPad and export or transfer them over to a Windows computer or PC. So for this tutorial, I'm using a Windows 10 computer and I have the iPhone 7 Plus on the screen there. I went ahead and opened the window here that shows me my devices and drives and I got there by clicking on the icon on my desktop here that says this PC. For some of you, this may say my computer if you're on a different operating system. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by connecting the iPhone 7 Plus here to my computer. And you'll notice after I plug it in, nothing shows up over here under devices and drives. So now we'll go ahead and open up the DJI Go app and I'm gonna go in here to my album. So here you will notice I have all my cached videos and over here I have some photos from the DJI. Well, it's actually in the DJI Go 4 app and it's from my Mavic 2 Zoom drone. So this cache actually takes up space on the entire phone's storage. Like all this stuff is stored on your iPhone's storage. Cached files and stuff like right in here are actually kind of like in a different location. So we're actually going to just transfer them over to the camera roll so you can access them and then you can copy them. So I'm gonna go ahead and select one of these video files here. And you'll notice down here, let me blow up the phone here so you can see it on the screen. Down here I have a little arrow with like a little line at the bottom. You just go ahead and click that. Get the option here to actually save video to your device. Okay, it says that it's actually moving the file over to the camera roll is kind of what it's doing. It's already actually on this device. But let's go ahead and go into photos. Now I'm just gonna select one of those and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna click that little thing and save it. Actually, it comes up there and it says save to camera roll. So I'm gonna save that over to the camera roll. Now, if we close out of everything and we go into the camera app and open up the camera roll, go to all photos, you can see I have the cache video that moved over and the photo there. Now, if I disconnect the iPhone and let me bring up my desktop screen for you. If I disconnect it and then plug it back in, You'll notice now the DCIM folder, well, the little icon here to go into the internal storage and get to the DCIM folder shows up. There's the files right there that I just moved over to the camera roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose, you know, you can cut them out of the camera roll, which removes them from the iPhone, but that leaves a copy in the app. So if I go back in the DJI Go app, you can see everything is still in here as far as videos and stuff. We basically just made a copy and moved them over. I hope that doesn't confuse anyone, but. So all you really need to do is just do whatever selection here you want cut and I made a little folder here called tutorial And I'm gonna paste them right over onto my Windows computer and there they are They showed right up now you can see that folder is empty So uh, if I go back into the camera app, they are gone because I actually cut them out of there You can also leave a copy in there however you want to do it But that is pretty much how that works and now that you have a copy over on your computer You know you can go in here you can select these and delete them however I have the app set up in here to actually overwrite and keep going when my cache and stuff gets full. So if I go in and enter device, go to camera view, and I select the little menu with the three dots over there. If I scroll down, you can see down here, I have things set cache during video shooting. I've turned on record with audio. I have that turned on. I have the maximum video cache capacity set to auto. So it uses all available storage and it will clear that cache automatically like once it reaches, it gets full, it'll, you know, start creating new cache. So if you are trying to save your cache or that audio file, you want to kind of do this procedure, get it off your device before it gets far enough along where it writes over top of it. So that's all you really need to do to get those cached videos and photos moved over to your Windows PC. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button, share this video on the forum so it helps other people out. I hope it was helpful to some of you out there. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, leave comments in the comment section below. Hit that like button, share the video if you want, and I will see you guys in the next one.